Hello everybody, this is my first stream for YouTube. If you don't know who I am, I go by the name of DeathSavior84 on Twitch. And basically DeathSavior on every other thing. Um, today we're going to be doing Creativeverse. I'm gonna, there's been a lot of, since it became free to play, there's been a lot of new people. And I know they were implementing some new features and things like that. And for new people, it might be confusing when you first get started. So I figured I would uh, throw it out there and let it, and uh, make a YouTube post or well video on how to get started and show you what's what does what in the game, things of that nature. So it might help you out. All right, we're gonna start a new world. Uh, Atlantis. <clears throat> you can set a password if you want, but for this I'm not going to. You can put a description. Um, YouTube video world. There. Advanced options. We want to have this peaceful. We don't want to disable any of that. Enable claims, we want that on. Recipes don't carry over. Uh, no, I'm going to make recipes carry over just because of the fact it will help out in the video. Because there are some blocks now that you can't, it would be kind of hard to find, things of that nature. And I can at least show what blocks I do have during the video. Okay. So we got the world name, we got set password, we got the description. We did went into the advance, check marked what we needed, and unchecked what we needed, and confirmed. Now we're gonna confirm. Creating world! Yay! <clears throat> um the Sense Shooter TV you see at the bottom is the team I'm on right now for streaming. Like it's right below my my uh, video. Sorry if you think the angle's weird on the cam too. Let me uh, see if I can adjust that a little bit down. There we go. All right, so as you can see, we're in a new world. I made it peaceful, so nothing will attack unless I attack it first. We got red mushrooms here. We're gonna need those, so we're gonna s select them or s suck them up. Um, if you <clears throat> left click on your mouse, you'll suck. Right click, we'll just do it with my touchpad just so I can show you. Sets things down. It's kind of like Minecraft, things like that, same kind of concept. Except for you're using a power gauntlet to suck up items instead of actually using pickaxes, shovels, things like that to mine. There's some cragwood and the leaves, cragwood leaves up there. But um, if you hit Q on, these are all default keys, so keep bear in mind. If you hit Q on your keyboard, it'll bring up the crafting. As you can see, I can craft a whole lot of stuff. But what we're focused on right now cause, is the wood mining cell. I will show you the charged wood mining cell, which is it's the same setup, same stuff. The only difference is this one lasts a little bit longer, but you have to find the recipe for the charged wood cell. So we'll do the regular wood cell for this uh, tutorial. Up here in the corner, when you uh, bring right click, if you right click on this, it'll bring it up over here. There's a little check mark. It says track. You can click next to it. You can barely see it, but it's a little check mark. Now when I back out, it's up there. In the top corner, top of my screen, um, right, oh, right here, it says uh, wood mining cell, and it tells me what I got and what I need to get. So I have enough. When it's green, you have enough. When it's white, you don't have enough, or you don't have it right now. So I need some cragwood, which luckily, behold, here we are, cragwood. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, so if I have enough crag wood, I'm going to get an extra piece, just to be honest, maybe. Alright, <clears throat> and we need vines. Vines you find you can find on crag wood, which over here we're going over to. Spacebar jumps, by the way, ASD, ah, ASDW moves. And your mouse turns the camera. So you can jump two blocks high, unlike Minecraft, which is only one block. So these are vines, the ones, the green things that are on the... That's up. So we have enough to make a cell. Let's get an extra one just to be on the safe side. So now everything up here, and this little block up here is green. So we have enough. You know what, I'm going to actually make it full screen so it makes it... No, I better not. I'll leave it alone because I don't know if it's going to mess with... Well, let me see if it messes with the game. Like... Apply. Yes, okay, I didn't mess with anything. Okay, we're good. Usually I have a window for when I stream, but for this I'm going to make it full screen. So anyhow, now that we got everything that we need to make a wood cell, we get we go into the, we hit our Q, go in the crafting, right click on the wood mining cell, and click craft one. And if you do not have anything equipped down here, it will automatically put it where it needs to be. So that's a good thing. But if you would have let's if you would have another one, you would actually have to click. And drag it over to it. Um, e brings up the inventory. As you can see right now, I got a crumpled note and some uh, the blueprints that I had bought from the store. Like if you go to the store here, they got recipes, which I have all but this one and this one. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Man, this thing is slow scrolling, dumbest. But yeah, you get rest block recipes which you don't really need they're just for decoration <clears throat> blueprints I don't have them all but my wife had between me and my wife in this game we both we have all the blueprints the ones that are great like grayed out or white those are the ones I have but some of these are amazing this floating island is ridiculous it's so big but um the coins that's of course your what you use to buy stuff with which they aren't bad priced uh, you get 500 coins for 4.99 so you can as you can see it's not that bad but those of course again aren't necessarily needed if you want to get rid of the wood mining cell up there in the top you can do two things you can hit alt and it'll bring up this X here or you can go into Q, go back to what you were doing, and uncheck track. <clears throat> and it's gone. While I'm at it, this up here is your compass. It'll allow you to see... Um, whoa. Okay, there we go. But, yeah, this right here is your compass. I'm going way too far over. That allows you to see where you're at on there. You'll see blimps if I... Enemy caught a keeper appears, which they are very well needed. And then over here it has your date, your uh, date time, and, or not date, your time, where you're located right now, what part of like the area you right now I'm in the woodlands, and the temperature, which is in the woodlands right now, it's 74 degrees. If I go somewhere else, let's let's run here for a little bit find us a different area see now I'm in the grasslands and it's 76 degrees if I keep going I don't feel like falling down there and having to climb back up it's actually didn't start me in a bad place considering I'm not that far from the mountains this right here we got lettuce these are things that can be picked up but you can also cut them in, cut them up with a processor, which we'll be making here in a bit, and replant them. They have a plant. They have a farming system in this game now. 
Um, M, by the way, brings up your map. This is a zoomed in portion where you can see where you've been, and that's zoomed out. All the clouded area needs to be uncovered because you have to unlock this. You have to go around and unlock everything. Um, while I'm at it, zoom in. Land claims. Each one of these squares you, is a piece of land that can be claimed. <clears throat> but you can't claim it until you uncover it. So, let's say I want to claim this. Click on it. Claim. My first claim is 20 coal. Or I can use coins, which isn't available at the moment. So, I'd go find coal and unlock it with that. Man, I was. They did basically center locate me to everything. Alright, so. Up there, which I was heading to earlier, we'll go back to here in a second. Alright, so here's the savannah. As you see, it's a little warmer here. 89, 88, 90. Over here, we go from the savannah to the beach. Well, dunes, which I figured had been more of a beach thing, but yeah, a new area we discovered. Be these are palm like palm trees. You got beech wood. Um, if I climb up here, these are an anim these are a mob right here, pebbles. But if I start climbing up here, now I'm in the mountains. So I mean, it tells you where each, what your, what your, what kind of, like, your location is, what you're in, which, like I said, this where they started me out wasn't bad because I could also see some canyons, not too far from where I was at. So basically, I have the mountain, I have the savanna, the grassland, woodland, uh, dunes, and the uh, um, canyon all in one area so it's not really that bad of a location to be started out in now I'm getting down without dying is going to be the fun part oh there we go Whee! what's that? you want to die? okay <clears throat> as I said enemies won't attack in this world because it's peaceful unless I attack them first yeah, the weapon you start they start you out with a stick and yes it is a pain in the butt to kill things with a stick good thing I got some extra mushrooms <coughs> yay whenever if you hit F or right click on the bag of course it'll give you what they drop you get a crystal shard and some leather from this one. Sometimes you'll get bones, uh, globs of goo, things like that. E, of course. Now over here is your character. Um, can't really see it with my thing. I guess you can actually. But um, this is where the armor it goes when we craft armor. And this down here is how much damage your weapon's doing and how much armor you actually have, is, right? So, that way you got an idea of what's going on. And I just realized it probably didn't look right, so I'm going to do this again when I did the tracking just so you can see it. Um... Alright, I'm yeah. Nope. There we go. Just so you can see it, because I wasn't sure if it was showing up in the right area. It's right here. <laughs> I noticed something when I looked over at my recording thing, that's all. Alright, anyhow. Now we want to go in here, and we need to craft a processor. Processors are right here. So we right-click on it. Track. This will help us with what we need. 
Oh, I guess I can get rid of the wood mining. So let's do it the other way. Alt. And click the X. And then hit Alt again and you're good to go. Or X escape. Alright, so we need some vines. Stone and cragwood. So we need more of all that stuff. So let's go. Stone is over here, which we got a little cave going on. So let's go over here and poke our head into the cave. Eh, it's not even like a deep cave, it's just a small start of a cave. Which wouldn't be a too bad little start of a like hangout to put stuff, really. Plus then you can create your own little mine in the game, things of that nature. Alright, so we got eight stone, which is what we needed. And then we need some crag wood, so we gotta go around here and you know, find some actual crag wood. That's L these are elder trees, those are like pine trees. Something similar to that. Across the water. We'll have to go back over here to where we knew where there was some crag wood and vines. Yay, crag wood. You don't have any vines on you? For as big as a tree you are? Wow. I figured this would have had some. And as you can see with the power cells, the better the power cell, the faster things suck up. Because whenever I didn't have one, it was going a lot slower. Sorry, guys. Let me get. I need a drink. My throat's starting to hurt. Okay, that's better. Um, <clears throat> just collect some more. We got enough crag wood. I'll just take this last little bit. Or this last one. All right, now we need to find some vines, which I thought there would have been some on that, but apparently not. So we're going back further. Oh look, we got a little cave over here in the wall, or something cut out in the wall over here. Um, shift. If you hold in shift, it makes you run. The little yellow bar down there above your taskbar is your stamina. Oh, actually, we might use that one. Um, there we are, some vines. Is there a way we can get down there without killing ourselves? Yep. Somehow I gotta get around this and get up there. There's one in a cave going down in the water. I like this little cave over here better. You know what? I'll just dig a little path down. I ain't gonna try to fight around my way around all this. Yay! If you dig up grass. It'll leave dirt, and sometimes grass will regrow onto the dirt, and it usually happens pretty quick. Sometimes it don't. Hey, look, even down here we got some coal, so we got something to start out with. All right, so we got everything we need to make a processor. Uh, processor. So, craft. Now we get that. Okay. Oh, uh, if you hit the little squiggly line next to the one, it brings up a camera you can actually take a picture with. So, just in, for future information, if you're ever wondering, <clears throat> put a processor right here. Processors are used to cut up, like, cut stone slabs, rods. I can put... Why is that going so long? There's been a... I don't know if it's supposed to do that or if it's just a glitch in the game. But, it's been doing that when it put down processors. So, let's say... I, I'm going to need some wood. I am going to need some wood slabs, so. And I'm going to need some stone slabs. I know I don't have very much stone, but I can get more. So. It's all good. 
All right, let's go. It's starting to get kind of dark. Hey, more more coal. We're gonna need that, so that's good. <clears throat> coal, you're gonna need to use. Uh, you're gonna need for processing things of that nature. I completely went to. It. Wrong way, I think, to get out of here, but oh well. Yeah, there's a closer spot. Um, Alright, what I'm doing now is I'm coming out here. I'm going to collect some moss and some wood. The reason I'm collecting the moss is I'm going to make some moss torches. They aren't that great with lighting, but it'll help. And whenever you're in the dark, and you're starting out, those are going to be your best bet to have anyways. So, now that I collected the moss and the wood, shouldn't need much anyways. <clears throat> Alright, moss, yeah, right there, moss torches, right click. As you can see, you need one one moss and one one wood. It doesn't have to be ash, and you can have little arrows here, you can actually cycle through. So it's not like it has to be those. That's just what I collected for this. Alright, so each time you craft one, you get four or eight. As you can see up here, it'll say, up in here, it'll say eight. You'll get eight torches. So I have 16 torches now. Since it's starting to get kind of dark, we're going to set something down here to keep his cave a little lit. I mean, I know I have it peaceful. But I prefer not to have enemies spawning down here, even if it is peaceful, because that's just a pain in the butt. And as I like I said, this doesn't give off much light, so you got to put many, many of them down. Torches are another good source. As you can see, um, above my health bar, which is the red, a little meter just appeared. It's a heat meter. It's because if you look up at my temperature now that I'm standing basically over top of this to moss torch, it's 131 degrees. Those are good for when you're in cold biomes like torches. You can set set them down and stand near them, and you're because you'll end up having a freeze meter that appears, and it will take the take your cold meter, the freeze meter down, and you won't have to worry about freezing to death. All right, let's collect those. And whoops, Q. Now we have the stuff we need to make an extractor. So let's make us a few extractors, shall we? Alright, as you can see, the oh to do this you can either use the numbers or a little whatever they show up there in the corner, like we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then zero, and then they got a dash and an equal sign. So you hit one of those, and it'll take you to whichever one you want. Or you can use your mouse wheel and scroll through it up, takes you that way, down takes you, well, up away from you, takes you that way, down towards you, takes you this way. So, and then extractors are going to be used for these blocks that light up in blue. You got coal, obsidian, iron diamond and uh, lumite but you need those to get these nodes I guarantee there's more than just one there looks like we had a couple yep there's another one <laughs> and then like I said we had more over here so and that's all of them now I need to collect more wood and stone to make more more abstract Extractors, because I'm out of extractors. <laughs> Must be close to a above a cave or something. I can hear a mob breathing. Like it must be close to one, like an actual cave. Alright, we need to collect some more wood. We got a lot of coal here to extract. 
<coughs> Wait, I'm going too far here. There's another way out. It's over here. Now, as you can hear, I know I got away, but you heard the music stop, so that means those are ready to go. Them extractors. I'll show you. I forgot. I should have showed you another way to, that you can tell they're ready to go. I'll show you that here in a bit. Um, you know what? Just start giving me wood. It's a, just for streaming. It's not like a major world. So if I leave giant chunks of tree missing, it ain't gonna be a big deal. I'll eventually get around probably to getting them anyways. Ah, there's a night. There's a night mob. I'll go show you them. Alright, down here, I see it. You can see that light. Yeah, there we go. There's a twiggly, or twiggy. These are the, like, baby leafies that come out at night. Hopefully, I make an actual one, because right now, that's all it is, is a night one. I haven't seen, like, an actual twiggy. Um, here's a hoglet, I believe, yeah. That's a night, a night pigsy, one of them yellow ones I killed earlier. The, it's the night version of it. Hey, a chest. Chests spawn at night on the surface. Just keep that in mind. And they're actually pretty decent with stuff you get. They're helpful when you first start out. <clears throat> Man. I've lost my cave. I'm going to have to go find it. I think it was over here. Pretty sure. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was over here. Yeah. I'm going to have to put my touchstone down here. But, as you can see, they're folded now. Like, they're clip closed. So I can collect them. We're good to go on those. Now, let's chop up some more we need more slabs and I don't believe I have enough to make an advanced extractor whenever you make like it didn't do it here but whenever you make that you'll get this yeah I don't have any obsidian right yet kinda interested to see if I just gotta go straight with this Oops. Didn't realize I collected that many red flowers. This world being peaceful, I shouldn't have to worry about them attacking. These are brown mushrooms. You find them in the dirt and on, on the ground, things like that. You just suck them up. I think it's lower. Yep. There he is. See, normally that enemy would be coming after me. Wow. Yeah, I've seen a blue. Oh, that's more coal. But yeah, look at that. We ain't we didn't do too bad. We had a cave right here, now I can make myself build myself back out of here. There's more coal. Holy frig is there coal. Which we're gonna need coal here soon. Cause what I'm I'm eventually gonna have to make me a forge to actually cook my ore in.
I see a uh, little pigs he decided to follow me down here. But anyways, now we have a little cave entrance, so that's good. This wasn't a bad pick for a starter place. Um, the other thing when I make these extractors I'll have to show you is, as you see right now, we have 34 coal. There's, there's extractors collect 6 coal, the normal extractors. The advanced will collect 12 coal, and then there are super extractors, which you have to actually find the recipe for that, which um, will collect 18 coal. Which I have the recipe up, which I will use later on in the game. Alright, so I got them back. We need to make some more. Alright. Let's uh, chop up some more. I need some more slabs. How many more do I have? Six. And yeah, there's more of these in here too. <clears throat> All right, so we've got the basics down. We got why is where did why didn't I put these down here? I usually use the mouse to select what I want in my taskbar. Um, we got enough coal. Well, I need to go. I should have thought about that. Need more wood. Because we are going to go make us some coal torches, which are brighter and a lot better. I could go collect some sand, but I want to show you how to make. I want to show you the coal torches. All right. I do believe I need to make yep wood rods. See, this is where the processor comes in handy because now I need rods. So. In the end, it's kind of good to have all this stuff. Alright, so give me some rods. Oh, and by the way, down here, you can't see it behind my name, or behind my video and stuff, there is an actual, by the collect all button, there is a timer that tells you how long it's going to take, and each piece and then how much it all together right now it's gonna take two minutes for us to all to finish so I mean it's not like you're in just out in the dark I'd like to come down here and hopefully find retard floating give me you I'd like to find some obsidian down here wow that's a pretty far fall I don't want to go that way I think they're all pretty far. I need to create a wood and I a stone power cell too while I'm thinking about it. Because I can't collect bedrock without it. And then in order for me to be down further in here, kind of need to have that. Like bedrock and limestone. Wow. Holy cow does this thing go. Yeah, let's let's get us a stone power cell before we get too far down here. Alright, so we need a stone power cell. Oh, I have everything to make it. Sweet. So in order to make a stone power cell you need coal, mushrooms. A wood cell, some stone, or a wood slab, stone, some type of flower. You got the little arrows so you can cycle through them. Same with the mushrooms. You got the little, the little arrows on them so you can cycle through them, which are right here. I know it's showing. It's a pain, but. All right, so. Now we are to craft. Yay! 
So now that we have the stone power cell crafted, which I can actually make another one apparently, let's we'll drag. Whoops! Click and drag us in place of the the wooden one. Now I can collect limestone and bedrock. Yay! <laughs> I want my other because I'm gonna run out of. I only have one thing left, so I still have to go back up. Okay, it's done. All right, so that's nice. We're gonna craft us some coal torches. Coal torches, I need as, as we seen earlier. Uh, some coal and some wood rods. <clears throat> and we'll get a decent amount of that. There we go. We got 56 coal torches. <clears throat> Don't want to go down that way. We already determined that. Don't want to fall down that. We can walk, climb down. So what we're gonna need to do is start digging ourselves over here. <laughs> Try to make ourselves a way down without falling to our death. There's more coal, coal. <coughs> yeah, let's throw, throw that there. Oh, well, apparently, uh, that must be at least too high. Yep. All right, now we can put the coal torches down. As you can see, they light up a hell of a lot more. No, Oz, not right now. I'm busy. Holy shit, does this thing keep going? I think I may go down to slack tight layer. Ooh, I see uh, fossils. I'm going to need those. Fossils, they don't seem like they're good for anything, but they will be once you start getting enough coal and you get some glass and some obsidian rods, you can make gas lamps, which are nice. Brighten everything up. So it's basically like a literal fossil fuel. Yeah, that's a tad. Oh, if you hit C, you can crouch and you come to the edge and it won't. Unless the game glitches, you won't fall. And it does sound like we're going. That's going way down there. So let's see here. I'm gonna have to see if I can find a way to dig myself down again. Hey, obsidian, sweet. Just what I was looking for. Extractor. Okay, see how they opened up like that? We'll sit here. It's going to take a little bit. But I want you guys to see that they actually close. And that music will actually stop. So we'll kind of just dig around here and make our own little pads down, hopefully. Not die. No, it's gonna take like five minutes, okay. <clears throat> I just wasn't sure how long it was gonna take, so I'll just see. Sweet. Made it down another layer. Hey, a warm worm. Too bad I don't have nothing to attack it with. 
Warm arms give you teeth, and you need those to make craft certain things. <clears throat> well, everything that pretty much is given to you, you need to craft something. Oh, God, excuse me. I just woke up not too long ago, so it's kind of, this is my, since it's being my first stream, I'm still trying to get myself awake awake. I guess I should have waited a little longer before I started recording. Yeah, look at this, the lactite layer. A couple of them back here, holy cow. This, how far does this thing still go down? Looks like it may go even further. How much time's left? Two minutes. I don't want to go too far because I want you guys to see that. Blue mushrooms. Yeah, we need obsidian tower so to suck this stuff up. Hey, look, iron. I'm gonna take advantage of this. Now I'm only gonna get three iron from this, so I don't want to. I don't want to use too many on it is what I'm getting at because I'd rather use the more powerful mining cell or not mining cell but extractor to get the uh, to mainly get iron like the um, super extractor will give me nine of those well we got a little minute and something here can't really do much. Possibly dig around. Well, there's some more obsidian. So we can get that going. What did, I wonder. Because that's not very far from this other one. Huh. Wasn't either. Yay, more. No, nope, bedrock. <clears throat> but they're very, the extractors are very musical. Alright, so we only got 30, some, a little bit over 30 seconds left. We'll sit here and we'll wait for this. And once you see this, I'll take this up and I'll put, I will create a forge. And then. I will throw that in there so you guys can see what you're doing with that, and that will be the end of the episode. And hopefully, this episode has been pretty uh, knowledgeable on helping you get started out in Creativerse. Just remember, each time it doubles whenever you go with extractors. From extractor, yeah, there we go. You see that? How they clap together like that? Yay! They're done. The music stops from them and they are done. Alright, so I know where that's at. I'll come back to that in another episode and get that. Or, well, outside of an episode. One of the two. Oh shit. Ow! Excuse my language. I was trying to keep this uh, family friendly. My bad. Alright. Well, hello there. What the heck? Okay. Let's see, where am I? There we go. You're still there? How did you not die? It's daylight out. The game's glitched or something. It's stuck inside the stone, maybe? Yep. Now oh, it's on fire. Alright, so we need to make a forge, which we got everything for. You need stone, 
stone slab, wood slab, and a and some bedrock. Which you got all that. So we'll craft us a forge. Remove this little here, this little stone here. And put this forge in its place. Next to our processor. Alright. So we want fuel, or we're gonna need fuel, which is coal. Or you can use wood, but wood takes more. It'll take two wood to forge one of these. But coal is faster than wood. And it co only costs one one coal per thing, so <clears throat> you just keep hitting forge. You can hold up to 21 at a time, and it'll go through. As I said, it has a timer just like the other one by the collect all button, and it'll tell you how much each piece is gonna take, which is 10 seconds, which tells you up there anyways, up in up here, and it's gonna take a minute and something to finish off. So that's the basics right now as of for creative verse. That's that'll get you started, like I said. Brown mushrooms in the dirt. Always look in the dirt for brown mushrooms. <clears throat> and also you can't unless you have enough uh flowers and mushrooms made, you can't really make potions, but you can eat mushrooms by themselves for healing. So it's always good to stack up on mushrooms so you can eat them. And the good thing is, if you get multiple, like how I have the brown and red, I can eat both of those, and my health will build up faster. You can eat, so you can eat eat one red, one brown, and if you get an obsidian power cell, you can actually collect a blue mushroom and eat one of them too. And there you go, I'm healed up pretty fast. I would actually like to thank Loki for. Uh, me watching him and actually getting that idea from him. I would never have thought about that if, it, if I didn't see him do it. But my buddy 3D Loki, who plays Creativeverse, he, he's been playing about as long as I have. Um, he's the one I actually learned that from. Anyhow, if you have any questions about anything in the game or what something explained or shown how to make, just post below in the comments. I will do my best to get it made, do it in an episode, and show you. If you guys like it, let me know what you think. If you don't, let me know what I could do to improve it. I mean, this is all on you guys. This is what you guys want to see, want to hear, things of that nature. Need to know. I'm here to help out. Anyhow, I want to thank everybody for. for their time of watching this. I'm trying to think what to say here. Sorry if I, so like I said first first video. So bear with oh god. God dang. <laughs> bear with me. Sorry about that again. And um I'll probably do a little more recording of some other stuff, but for right now, this is what I'm gonna do. Anyhow, again, feedback's greatly appreciated. And have fun.